Yo. It's Danny Lowe. Got Gina. Um, we're down on Long Island with the TTRS. And uh, we're about to head to um, the shop. Got some APR goodies in the trunk. And today is going to start what I'm hoping is probably like a video series of like um, basically the mods that are going to happen with this car. So, a little backstory on this car. It is my daily. The GTI is not. That's more of like the weekend warrior uh, future race car. So this car is strictly my daily. So all the modifications I'm going to be doing to it have to be daily worthy. And everything that I do has to stay street car. So I'm not going to be doing no like, you know, crazy weight reduction or um, absolutely the worst harsh suspension or anything like that. It's going to be ideally the best daily driven solutions for everything. Um, and obviously some preference in there as well. But uh, the first thing we're going to be putting in is an APR inlet system and an intake system. And I'm going to go over that a little bit when we get to the shop and, and start unboxing it and all that. But um, I think I'm going to call this series like Road to 10 Seconds or Road to 9 Seconds. I don't know how far I'm going to take this. Where am, how far am I taking it? I don't know. Probably a lot farther than you intend on taking it. All right. So we'll call it, we'll call it Road to 9? Be nine? practical. 10s? Probably 9. You're nine? Just, yeah. That's not practical. Well, if you start with 10, you're, gonna, you're just going to move. It's also going to do a lot of damage to my wallet. Yeah, well, you know. Alright, so, we'll call the series Road to 9 Seconds. It's going to put a lot of pressure on me because I have a feeling I'm going to have to do hybrid turbo or at least some sort of turbo swap to get there. Maybe not, we'll see. Maybe the right combination of bolt-on parts and tunes and all that will get me there, but we'll see. That's what this whole series is about. I'm learning when you guys are learning, so, you know, each time I get a new part and I go and install it, I'll detail it and put it out there for you and explain my reasons behind why I bought it and just, you know, answer your questions. If you guys have any uh, stuff you want to put in the comments that you want me to answer to, go right ahead. Uh, I'm pretty open, so. Alright, let's head to the shop. There she is. So, what we're going to be replacing today is this, this, and this, and everything all the way back to the turbo inlet with APR stuff. 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 Get it. Why is that dented? I don't know. It's dented up since our trip home from Waterfest. I'm gonna have a bone to pick with APR. It feels like Christmas so though. I just, just wanna like, open it. You gotta just touch it. Just touch it a little bit and caress it. So two boxes. And the reason for that is because APR sells the inlet and carbon tube, hold on, so the inlet and carbon tube that goes in the back is one box and then the end here with the big honking giant filter is another part, that's why it was two boxes. Basically the size of my head. So we've heard. <laughs> it's at least this big. <laughs> we will find out in a sec. Sorry if it's a little uh, loud in here. There's fans up there and AC machines going over there. So there's a lot of like humming. Hot it's a busy Saturday at the shop. Hot. It's hot. hot. Yeah, because we had to cut that fan off over there just because it was a little too loud. So. Pressing on. All right. Gonna grab myself a nice. Which one do you want to do first? Just leave it. Leave it right there. Leave, leave it? Right there. Okay. Let's do this one first. Yeah. Two of the 
got here. Oh, oh. sweet, packing peanuts. Yeah. You gotta go swimming. This filter is absolutely insanity. Check that in the box over there. Okay, give me that. Put it up to your head. Gina's head for scale. <laughs> like literally. It's so big. Almost fit my head in it. <laughs> it's pretty huge. All right, so to recap, inlet, cast inlet with stock turbo adapter. Uh, APR makes other adapters for different turbos, and I'm considering, uh, rather, they're going to be making more. And then, for bigger turbos, and then you get the adapters, the couplers rather, hoses, probably for PCV stuff, the inlet pipe that comes off the cast inlet, and then the intake system, which is fancy word for filter on a stick, is this big curve that serves to adapt this giant filter with this couple of so. Let's do it. All right, let's pull this up. Ew. <laughs> I can't believe these newer cars, man. Oh man, it would be like next to impossible to make this thing pretty without that cover. It's pretty brutal. Cars are just not the same anymore, man. I thought my VR was bad, but this is something else. You got all this emission control stuff here, and the amount of wires is crazy. I mean, I'm not sure that it's even the prettiest motor to begin with, but... Damn. All right, update. Um, it's hot as hell, as you probably can tell. Um, majority of stuff's out. Inlet, which this thing here, by the way, I think I might be able to retain it to get a little bit of fresh air towards the filter, but we'll see that later. So airbox is out. I gotta remove this plate because I'm sure we're not gonna need it. Uh, stock intake tube is out. This was a little bit of a pain. Ended up actually taking out this whole assembly here so I could work this on the bench because this plastic here tends to be very brittle. It's like beige plastic. So got that off by working this here, this clamp. And then, what's up? <laughs> it's my brother-in-law, Danny. Um, Are you leaving? Oh, okay, cool. See you later. I'll see you later. Uh, where was I? Where was I? Ew. You should talk. <laughs> Disgusting. Oh yeah, so. Yeah, had to work this clamp. Took it all out, this whole assembly out. Make it easier so that you don't break this plastic. Very brittle, okay. Intake tubes out. The last thing to do is take the inlet out, which that looks like a bowl load of fun. I'm pretty sure I have to put the car up in the lift and get underneath it, which is fun because the splash panel in this car has about 150,000 bolts to it. So that's always fun. Gotta get this T30 way down there to get this uh, airline off the wastegate actuator. And that's where we're at. So keep pressing on. So while we're here, we can take a look at the uh, TTRS in stock form. So that's going to go eventually because that's a lot of heaviness and a lot of quietness. I don't need that. Um, and eventually, probably before an exhaust, I will do the downpipe, which would replace everything up to the turbo all the way to here. 
including removing these uh, secondary bypass or secondary cats. But that's only for racing. I'm not doing that on the street because I don't live in Mexico, so, you know, having a cat's out isn't illegal. Right? Yes, very illegal. Don't do it. Uh, so, gotta take everything apart just to do an intake. <laughs> really cool. Uh, okay, there's the camera. All right, so there. That's the inlet from the bottom. That bolt in the inlet is why we have to come under here. Remove the belly pan, the turbo pipe to the intercooler so that we can get to that one T30 over there. And now we're going up top. Take the inlet out and we're finally on to installing the new stuff. Yay. So here, a quick comparison between the two inlets. This is the stock one. And then this is the APR one. So a lot bigger on the inlet side. Turbo side's obviously the same because you have the stock turbo adapter. But this one can scale. So bigger turbo, bigger adapter ring, more air. Um, see, it's just so big. Thank this little guy. All right, after a lot of off-camera cursing, the inlet is in the car. Scratched up the heat shield a little bit. Glad it's covered, because otherwise, I'd be freaking out right now. Um, get a little bit of a snag, because we need to go get some blue tech for our locker. It would have been nice if APR supplied it, considering that it's required for installation, but they didn't. So we gotta run out and get some, because we only have red here at the shop. Good to have it, I guess. Hopefully we're on the home stretch. Once we get this thing tight on the turbo, everything else should start to fall together. Look at all the stuff that had to come out of the car just to put an intake and inlet in. Way too tight to work on these newer cars. I thought the Mark IV was bad, but this, this takes the cake. It's been a couple hours now. See, it's darker. Um, ran into some snags, had to go out and get Loctite. The gasket fell out of the inlet when we were trying to put it in, so you had to take it all back out, make sure the gasket was okay. But, finally, in the car. And it's very big and very carbon fiber. So, um, you gotta be very careful when you tighten all this stuff because the carbon can crack and warp. It's very thin, actually. It's not like super thick. Um, probably gonna have to check some of these connections in some time just to make sure they don't loosen up because this filter was like, come, like extremely greasy. So you can see under there it has this like billet standoff. That's how it stand, That's how it sits in the car. And uh, had to reroute all these hoses, a wastegate hose. Um, one thing that's kind of not as nice is that the wastegate hose for the factory inlet is this metal line that's bent and nice. And the APR one, I mean, not saying this isn't nice, but it's just this hose here. I don't know if you can see it, if I pull on it. It's just a hose. And so that goes down to the wastegate and then meets up with the plastic hose that's back behind the cover here and goes over to the solenoid. But it's in the car and it looks good. I mean, it barely clears the hood, which is like surprising. It's definitely kind of universal. There's like some bosses molded into the carbon fiber on the bottom underneath here that are not being used. I don't know what they're for. So this must be used on another car and I don't know which one, but there it is. No problems, no lights. Cool, so we reconnected everything then. Give it a little sucky sucky. Yeah, it won't. 
These cars have like safety features. It won't let you rev it very far. It's so lame. It only but we'll get some clips in the car. more with the windows closed actually. Mm -hmm. 